need your QCIP number. So let's locate the QCIP number and find out how much the bond is worth. First, you're gonna to need to go to fidelity.com and sign in. Once you get there, you're gonna hit like the little three bars up there on the side. When you, after you hit that, you're gonna to go to news and research. After entering that news and research tab, you're going to hit quotes, which will bring you to a page that looks like this. So you're going to go right here where it says enter symbol or company name. You're looking for your stock symbol in order to locate your QCIP number. So you're going to enter your birth certificate number right there. That might bring you to a page that looks like this. Enter it again inside of there. Okay, so there it goes. That's the stock symbol right there. That is the birth certificate number that I used. I blocked it out, so I'm not just putting information out like that. Now that we got the stock symbol, we're going to go ahead over to the fund finder. We're going to enter the stock symbol into the fund finder. As you can see, I'm using the same stock symbol, and that's the same name and stuff that was on there. Same information. So all of that will bring you to a page that looks like that. Now, as you can see, the QCIP number is over there. This is how much the bond is on there for. That 22.77 is 22 million. That's how much it's worth. So I zoomed in a little bit so you can see that the QCIP number is right there. The QCIP number is going first. You're going to need your QCIP number. So let's locate the QCIP number and find out.